dear ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the analysis of yolendo tv i hope you well from whatever you're watching this channel i'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow if you wish to support us just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like so ignore the background today i'm not in the studio but then there is something that i've stumbled upon concerning an ongoing uh, activity at the national uh, dialogue committee you understand that chebukati was supposed to make appearance today for certain questioning because uh, the, some of those submissions which have been done at uh, the ongoing session all of them have revolved around the 2022 general election so earlier today i stumbled upon a statement from Ki, from chebukati who declined to appear so it's alleged that chebukati boya molu and gulie the three of them the trio refused to appear at that uh, event because uh, what has it that uh, there was they were invited to come and shed more light because most of those speakers who were called upon there talked about the need to extensively conduct audit of the servant and we did an analysis yesterday if you can go back to our to like the past two videos you will find a story we did about what elog said and what political parties liaison committee said and what all other speakers who were called upon there said and all of these people talked about the need to audit the servant there is also the the, the, the muslim committee or the muslim organization that also echoed those remarks and all those people came there said there is a need to be conducting this every election so Jebukati has refused to appear saying that he mambo ya uchaguzi to him is a bygone case there is no need i mean to him he doesn't feel the urge to attend that meeting probably to answer any question regarding uh, you know so that is the kind of thing that Chebukati was saying i don't know that you agree with what Chebukati was saying or maybe there's something that Chebukati realizes that if he makes that appearance it amumiza am there is something i just i just think there is something what do you make of that move by Chebukati to deny or to refuse to honor the invitation by the co-chairs Kimani Chungwa and uh Kalazom Sioka I was talking to someone uh, regarding this story and I shared this story with someone whom I believe voted for Uda because this person is from Rift Valley. So he told me that kama mimi ninge kocha Bukati ningeenda tu kwa nchi nyingine kule nikae mbali. Yeah? Nikae mbali away from these uh, questions and the like. It is true. And I agree with the people with Uda. None of them is ready for that audit to be done no, so that's something that we know i mean there is nobody who can come and convince the people for me or anything of course gachago said this previously there there is no need they said that supreme court already uh, audited this server audited the audit that supreme court did ilkoni enough that's what people say those are people from order but the reality from an unpartisan position is that whatever elog said whatever the political parties liaison said whatever the islamic committee said whatever all those so stakeholders said because all of them talked about the need to conduct that audit so i think the best thing uh, for chebukati if at all he wants to vindicate himself from this mess was just to honor that call honor the call and address the issues but according to chebukati's response according to his response naona kama chebukati is not ready he is not ready for any questioning he is not ready for audit contrary to marjan's position you know marjan 
I think uh, I don't know whether it's because he's still in the in the IBC. That's why he felt that there's need for this exercise to be done so that my name or I mean Marjan's name be cleared. I don't know why he made that move, but Marjan's move was one that was going to address the issues that are that are Azimi or Meleta. No, like any Chebukati kukata kwake kuna zidi kutonesha hichi kidonda chebukati akatai kwa nini na hii ili jopo ambalo limetengenezwa la national dialogue committee ni jopo la wakenya wote wanataka hii process iende lakini chebukati boyamolu na gulie wamekataa i don't know I, mean, I, don't, i don't think they will call cherera or, or, or nyangaya or wanderi or masit uh, to probably shed more likes there i don't think they will do that but uh, calling chebukati because chebukati was a senior most person and chebukati okayed the results boyamolu also okayed the result gulie also okayed the results it is just as necessary it was just okay for chebukati iliko chebukati aje to because sasa ikiwa wa kenya wanangoja hii report wa kenya wote wanangoja hii report sio raila wa Kenya wanangoja report. So who is Chebukati to say no? Naona kwamba hapa kuna game. But either way akataya kubali I think there is need for the committee to just go on calling other people because at the end of the day this is a Kenyan affair. It is not a Chebukati affair. So Chebukati's declining move should not worry Kenyan sana so i'm looking at the possibility kwamba chebukati if chebukati declines so now uh, smartmatic are supposed to address those issues which are, which are which have been uh, arrived at during this committee wondering just assume chebukati has declined and then uh, the report of uh, the national dialogue committee and the CEO agrees that this server has to be audited just like we said yesterday in our previous analysis so now smartmatic are to be engaged who is going to make that initiative don't you think that chebukati's input will still be needed maybe yes maybe no i don't know but you can go below the comment section and tell us what you whether you think there will still be need for chebukati's input or the national dialogue committee better forget about chebukati to evoke kabisa and because now that will mean he had to be he has to be begged to come and probably shed more lights if all the people there responded what what wa kenya watu walikuja but then he is declining to show up there i think he ni darau kwa kenya that's the best word i can i can refer to that all the whole, the whole thing ni darau kwa Kenya and because wa Kenya wanangoja hii report na hii report ni from a committee that was jointly formed by Ruto and Raila and supported by Obasanjo so Chebukati's move to decline that is not a show of a statesmanship lakini he has the right to decline so he has declined so ladies and gentlemen i want to, i wanted to go down below the comment section and tell us what to think about this move by chebukati do you support the move if you do if you don't just tell us what to think about that move by chebukati kukataa kuenda kwa ile committee tell us below the comment section and also those people who have not subscribed to this channel i want to kindly encourage you to subscribe to this channel give this video a like and don't forget to hit the notification bell and to those who have subscribed to this channel i want to say here that i'm forever grateful for that support because without you this channel cannot grow so until you catch up again please stay safe and stay blessed